Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I've got a video for you today. I am going to be talking about alternatives for the Chanel Classic Flap in the size medium large. Now, I purchased this Chanel Classic Flap a couple of years ago. I think it was just before the pandemic. So perhaps it was around 2019. So when I bought it, it was $3,600. It came with the cereal sticker inside intact. I bought it from an Australian reseller. It came with an authenticity certificate and then I got it re-authenticated. It did not come with the card, which is a highly desirable thing, but that allowed the price to be four or $500 cheaper than it would have been at that time. When I received this item, the turn lock here, it was just a little faded right there. And then the structure on the sides wasn't quite as good as it is now. And I sent it in to Leather Surgeons and they replated the gold hardware. They took it all apart. They replated this piece right here with 24 karat gold. And then they took the bag apart too and they restructured it. And when they take a bag apart, they stitch it back in the same holes that it was originally stitched in. So you don't have any additional holes in the leather, which is pretty amazing. And then of course I added this little handle from Samorga just to dress her up a little bit. This bag, it looks almost new. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a few little wrinkles in the leather, like right here where the flap opens back here, there's a little bit. But that's normal and that would happen anyway. So it's kind of like if you buy a pre-owned car that's almost new, but it has a tiny little dent in it, it makes you feel not quite so nervous to put the first little scratch or door ding from a parking lot or whatever on it. So this bag, in order to keep its structure, it has the double flap, which helps a lot. But then on the inside, and you can see mine's all black. They didn't introduce the, the burgundy on the inside until a little bit after mine was made. But this is a insert by M Boutique in Australia. And I keep that in the bottom of my classic flap because not only does it match pretty much perfectly, but it keeps it from getting squished from here to here. So let me try this bag on for you real quick and then we'll talk about the alternatives. Here's a mod shot for you and my outfit of the day, well, I don't think it's too awful. It's kind of cute. It doesn't really go with this bag. Doesn't look terrible, but this bag is 100% leather lined, 100% leather on the outside. So it's a super high quality bag. If you go to the store to buy it right now, I believe it's over $9,000 before tax. That is insane. I paid about 3,600 about two and a half years ago. And then I paid 400 for leather surgeons to fix it up. So I have about $4,000 on this bag, which is way more than I have in any of my other bags. It's gorgeous. I sold several bags to get it. I love it. I'm not going to sell it. I carry it not much. I carry it for special occasions of which I've had almost none in the last three years because of the pandemic, but she is beautiful on my shelf. I'm glad to say I own it. Now, if you don't, have the money to invest in a bag like this or you think it's crazy which it is i mean it's totally nuts then i have a few alternatives for you these may not be all of the best alternatives but they're what i have in my closet and i can show you how they compare in size and i can try them on for you and then you can decide what you think is worth the money i'm going to show you six options two coach options and then four tory birch options this is the first option. This is a Coach Riley 22. They have come out with a new model that replaced this model pretty much, and it's the Hero Bag. So if you like the way this looks, you might also check out the Hero Bag. It has a leather top handle instead. This bag came in all leather, but it's also in different canvases with leather trim, which is what I have. It is leather on the sides and on the bottom. I'm gonna set my Chanel bag down. It is 100% leather on the inside. So if you do get one that's all leather on the outside, it's going to be a 100% leather bag, just like the Chanel bag is. I'm gonna try this one on for you, but before I do, let me tell you how I modified the strap. This chain strap, it originally, this part where the ring is, this ring wasn't there. 
and it connected directly to this strap right here. So what I did is I opened up, I opened up this ring and this ring, and then I closed them again and I attached them to this little O spring ring right here. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to be able to drape the chain across the front instead of having a crossbody strap with the chain across my chest. So now I added a ring on this side just so it's symmetrical. I can connect the strap that it came with and wear it as a long shoulder bag. I also have several black straps that I can connect and just get rid of that ring and then wear it crossbody. So let me show you how it looks with this strap, the way I've modified it. So it is a great long shoulder bag. Isn't that cute? So the Riley 22, it's pretty comparable in size. You can see that the Chanel's wider, but the Riley is deeper and it doesn't have that flap inside to take up space. So you can definitely fit as much in the Riley 22 or more than you could in the Chanel medium large. Gotta have my Diet Dr. Pepper. Before I get too far into this, I want to show you what fits in this bag, and then we can talk about how it looks in the other bags. I've got everything in this bag that I normally carry, and I'm going to show you what that is. I've got two Louis Vuitton key clays, a pouch that I keep my medicine in, I've got my card case that has three cards in it, I've got my pouch with all of my essentials, and then I've got my key fob and my AirPods case. So all that fits pretty snug in there. I just showed you what it looked like. Let me show you how that fits in the Riley 22. I'm gonna put the pouch in the center compartment. I'm gonna put the two key clays in the front sideways. I'm gonna put my AirPods and my keys on top of the pouch. And then I'm gonna put my little medicine holder and my card case in the back. You can see it holds a very similar amount there's maybe just a little bit more space left over on the Riley 22 than there was on the Chanel. And you can see that it spreads out like an accordion. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about this little beauty. This is the Willa mini top handle bag. You can tell she has beautiful quilts like the Chanel, but the Willa mini top handle is smaller than the Chanel. The Willa mini top handle, at least in this color, is made out of goat skin. All of the Willow line is made out of goat skin, as far as I know, except for some newer options that are made out of tweed and other materials like polyurethane. This bag has a beautiful grain to it. I really love the leather on the Willow line. I really love goat leather. The Chanel, it is made out of a grained caviar leather and it is made out of calf skin instead of out of goat skin. I just want to show you the texture. Let's try all those items out inside the Willow. You can see the flap is lined in leather. The inside is a fabric material and I am putting everything I normally carry in these bags. You can see everything is in there. I think I could fit my phone up right here in the back pocket because there's room back there. I could probably also slide it in here. I'm not sure I could have done that with the Riley 22 just because this magnet here in the front isn't super strong. So it might start popping open. It's hard to get it to catch. That's the only negative thing about this bag and it doesn't have a back pocket. The Hero bag, I think they fixed this magnet issue. You can buy a stronger magnet and put them together, put, put the opposing magnet against the Riley magnets and make it stronger, but I just haven't done that yet. Here's the Willa mini top handle. This reminds me a little bit more of like a Chanel business affinity, but I figured since I was talking about quilted bags and bags that were similar structure to the Chanel classic flap, I would bring this one into it because if you like the look of the quilts, you gotta know about both of the Willa styles that I like. Now this bag here, this is the small Willow shoulder bag, and it is the one that I have that I think is most similar to the Chanel Classic flap. It definitely holds more though. You can fit your phone and all the items that I just put into the mini Willow top handle in this bag with no issues, and it has a back pocket that your phone will fit in. So size-wise, this one wins. Leather-wise, it really depends on whether you like 
goat leather or calf leather and whether you want to spend nine thousand dollars or between 200 and mm, about 375 bucks depending on where you live what your tax rate is and how big the sale is so i've got everything in this bag now that i had in the other ones and this is just like the mini mullet it has a leather line flap and then the fabric on the inside and it does have this zippered back pocket, just like the mini Willa did. And that's where I would put my papers. But since those don't take up any space, I'm not messing with those today. But this bag has room for a phone inside. I mean, you could easily slide it in there. On my classic flap, I'm not sure I would have done that with the stuff I had inside. But I also probably wouldn't carry three card holders with me. So I could fit my phone inside the classic flap if I was doing a special night out. But look how big this back pocket is. Okay, so see, here's the look of the Willa small shoulder bag. Let's compare that to the Chanel medium large classic flap. So we've got Willa small shoulder bag and we've got Chanel medium large classic flap. Now the leather in the chain is different on the Chanel. The Chanel hangs a little bit higher but the Willa is a little bit larger and it just holds so much more with that little bit of extra width. The other thing is that the Willa has leather pieces on the handle. So even though it doesn't have leather in the chain, it's more comfortable than the Chanel Classic Flap because of these leather strips. You can also wear the Willa crossbody which is something you absolutely cannot do with the Chanel. I mean, look, it's like right under my boob. They make the chain on this just a little bit too short to wear it crossbody. If you wanna wear one of these crossbody, you've gotta get a mini or a jumbo. The Willa is definitely a more versatile bag as well. Next, let's talk about the Kira in the small shoulder size bag. This bag is by Tori Birch, and you can see that these two are very comparable in size. But even so, the Tory Burch is gonna hold just a little more. I'm gonna put the same items in there. Sorry, they're so wiggly. The Chanel has the back pocket. It's got the leather in the chain, but the Tory Burch does have the leather for one of the two chains. So if you wear it crossbody, it's going to be more comfortable because of that leather piece. And of course, then you also do have that crossbody option. But if you want to wear it shoulder, you're going to have a chain on your arm, which you can sort of position on top of the leather strip, like so. You can see there. So you've got the Chanel and you've got the Kira. And you can see the Kira does hang just a little bit lower, but you can really see how comparable in size they are. So if I put everything into the Kira, you'll see how much space I have there. I do have space for the phone. Again, it's leather lined here. It's fabric on the inside. The Kira is made out of lambskin instead of the grained calfskin. So the lambskin doesn't have a grain. The lambskin is smooth. Unlike the Willa, which has the textured goat skin or the Chanel that has the caviar grained calfskin. This leather is really smooth and soft, but it is a little bit less durable than the caviar or the goat skin but i did have the soft fleming at one time and i sold them because i felt like it was more fragile than the kira so i definitely prefer the tory birch kira leather to the soft fleming leather and i have another kira type bag on the way and so i'll let you know when i get that one what i think of its leather since they have updated the kira line but this does feel just very luxurious Next, I have the Tory Burch Britain bag. And you may say, why are you showing this one? This doesn't look like a Chanel. Well, it doesn't, but then it sort of does. It's got the same leather woven into the chain. I've accessorized it the same with the Samorga pearls. Not that that matters. It's got a pebbled leather, which is durable. So even though it's not the same as caviar leather, it is basically a stamped leather, much like caviar, that is durable. They both have back pockets, but this one is much deeper and will hold your phone. 
And again, let me remind you, this is over $9,000. This bag is probably going to run you between two and $400. They've come out with a new version of it and the flap ends right here. And I prefer this one because I like it having one compartment. I'm gonna link a few of these in my description box because I don't think you can find these very often at the outlet anymore, but you could certainly ask, call Christina or Messatron Messenger and ask or call your local outlet because I think some of these may still be floating around and if they are, they're on clearance. But the new model, it has like half a flap and then it has a lot of glazing on the side because there's, a, I believe there's a couple different compartments. So you see here the, the logo, the emblem on it is see-through, which is sort of cool. And then it's got the leather on the inside of the flap. I feel like the quality on this one is more like a retail bag, kind of like the Willa, than it is an outlet bag. There are outlet bags that I absolutely do not like for quality reasons. So again, that's with all my stuff in, still room for my phone, either on the inside or on the outside. If I try it on, once again, you can see it does hang lower and that's because you can wear it crossbody, unlike the Chanel Classic flap. It is another dressy option. And if you take the pearls off, it's a little more casual. If you leave them on, it's a little more dressy. But it is another option that gives you that sort of structure like the Chanel Classic flap. And I do prefer the old model to the new outlet model because all that glazing, in my opinion, can get to look a little bit sloppy. And I think I like the streamlined look of just having one compartment versus the accordion shape, at least in this bag. I do love the accordion shape in the Riley 22 though by Coach. The last comparison I'm going to do is gonna be the Chanel Classic flap versus the Coach Troop shoulder bag. Now you can tell the Classic flap's just a little bit wider and the Troop is just a little bit deeper, but it's also shorter in height. They both have the leather interwoven in the chain, but the coach bag, I think the chain's just a little bit thicker. When I try them on, once again, you can see the coach bag does hang just a little bit lower, which allows you to wear it crossbody like so. So here's the Troop shoulder bag crossbody. You can send your Chanel medium large classic flap into leather surgeons and they can lengthen the strap but that devalues the bag. So you have to keep that in mind. Now this coach bag, it was done in collaboration with Kay Facet, and he does a lot of artwork on materials for home interiors, for clothing, and he partnered with Coach and they did this print, which is gorgeous, on top of the 1941 pebble leather. And it just has flowers all over it. It has different patterns on the sides and the bottom, and even the hang tag has a floral print on it, which I love. I'm gonna go ahead and put the items in this. This is the smallest out of all the bags that I'm showing you today. So before I load her up, Coach is the most comparable in both of the examples that I'm showing you on the interior in that it is leather lined, just like the Chanel bag. My phone does fit in this exterior pocket too. I can fit everything into those two compartments. It does close, but it is very full. And if I put my phone in, that would probably kind of push it over the edge. But when you look at these two bags, I would say the capacity between these two is the most similar out of all of the ones I've compared. I think the capacity of these is almost identical. Even the Tory Burch mini Willow Top handle has a little bit more room than this bag or this bag does. So that's it in a nutshell. Those are my bags that I think you could technically compare to the Chanel Classic Flap. The Chanel Classic Flap is just that. It's a classic. Even if you bought it now, the price is probably going to continue to go up. I just don't see how it won't, especially with the trend that they've started in the past couple of years and the rapid escalation that they've had. At some point, I would think it would hit a ceiling, but I just don't know. I don't think you'll lose money if you buy it at the current price. But that said, all of these bags that I have shown you today, you can buy for under $500. So 
do you want to spend under $500 or do you want to spend over $9,000? That is the question because the money that's left over could take your family on a couple vacations and those precious memories that you can make may be worth more to you than a bag like this. On the flip side, maybe buying a bag like this makes sense because it's something special that you can enjoy. So there's no right or wrong answer, but let me know which bag's your favorite. And I hope this has been helpful to you. I will try to link as much information in my description box as possible, so check it out, and I will talk to you all soon. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Handbag Housewife. Take care.